ladies. So what's the tea? I don't have any tea for you, babe. You do, you had tea for Mama D. You're not Mama D. Matter of fact, erase that sh right you now, bitch. Who's gonna make me do it? So, you you hey, call me hey, to tell me to meet hey, with you. Please get your bitch on a leash. Why the f you going around right. with my son's hey, picture? Hey, like it's hee hee ha ha. Cause it is hee hee ha ha. So the truth is that you have been trying to smash. So I heard, and that's been not the case, so. You're a liar, the truth ain't in you. I have the proof. She says she got the proof. Hello. Well, damn. Yeah, well, damn. Am I surprised to see Carly? No, because I know that I made mention of the party. She knew I was going to be there. And of course, she was going to want to stick a little head and see what was going on. You look handsome tonight. I appreciate it. I like you with a mask on because I don't have to see your face. Now, who's this? This actually is Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Who actually? I have nothing against you. Okay. I just want to find out why is he here with another woman. I'm like, I'm here by myself. I mean, he's this not. Is... With another yeah, this woman. Is, this is Rod's lady. I don't have nothing to do with her. She, she Rod, my homie. Oh, okay. We're not. It's yeah. not. Why you got to keep? Why you got to just even... got out of the feds? Yes. Jock is friends with this creepy ass dude, Rod, who just so happens to be Mimi's ex. Things went really badly with Mimi, and so she moved on to Stevie. I don't know all the details, but I do know that Rod is bad news. And so I'm sure that his girl is shady too. Anyway, yo, Jasmine, congratulations on y'all kid. Thank you. That's beautiful, yeah. She got a newborn. While he was in the feds, you had the baby? Rod just got out the pen. And this girl has a newborn, so that means she was hopping around other people's and penises. Shady as Somehow, some way, you got pregnant. To be honest with you, it, it. Carly, what? It, it, that's her business. Yo, I don't got nothing to do with that, I'm but I saying. feel like it's you want to disclose that. It's not Rod's shop. It's not. Then whose is it? It's Kirk's baby. Kirk who? Kirk who? Kirk Ross. What? Oh, shit. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Yo, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, my bitch, you can't be yelling stuff out like that if that's Yo, not real. I definitely don't believe that Jasmine understands the magnitude of drama that just opened up. I need to see a DNA. This girl is telling me she got a baby by Kirk Frost. Frost who? I wasn't going to tell anybody, and maybe a party wasn't the right place. But there's never gonna be a right time. We're just gonna Wait, go so, ahead and, so and get a drink. I just don't want it to be too much drama. Yeah. This is the type of people you like Yo, to no, hang no, around? No, 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 I invited you here, remember? Yeah, but yeah. you came in here with yeah, I didn't with, come with, with nobody. Kids. I came with, with me. I came with me and this goddamn Listen, coat. That, that, I came this? with me and this coat. I don't know what Kurt and I did. But that body language on that young lady, I didn't feel like she was lying. But that don't mean she wasn't lying. You know Kirk is your friend. You know Rashid is your friend. I didn't know none of that. I swear to God. So you didn't know that that was... This is the first time I ever heard that in my life on my kids. Is this girl lying? Because if she's telling the truth, Rashida's whole life is about to crash. Should I believe this bitch? Because I don't want to go back to Rashida. Uh, tell nah, Rashida what's up. First that, that's my friend. That ain't your place. That ain't your place. Yes, it is. Because you're going to tell Kirk. Man, with all this going on, I forgot my boy Kirk was on his way here. It ain't no way I'm finna let my dog walk into this mess without a 911. What did you say to Kurt? I told Kurt, I said, bro, hit me ASAP. Hit an agenda, 911. This is some crazy ass. Yeah. Girl just said that. Yo, yo, Wait, 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 wait. Kirk, you mother Time out. What I don't know about. God damn. <laughs> I came here tonight to pay my respects to Jocelyn, but I don't know what I just walked into. So Jasmine, who is the, do you know Jasmine? Mm -hmm. You know? Light skinned Jasmine, real pretty, real pretty, really, really pretty. Like Rashida pretty. 
Okay. So I see Kirk walking into the party, and I have to think quick on my feet. I know he hasn't told his wife about me and the baby, and I know he's gonna be upset that I let this secret out to his friends. Well, I'm gonna go on some real <laughs> um, Do you know her? Right here? But here we are, and I'm buzzed enough to deal with Kirk and his wrath, and it's time for him to face the truth. Okay, that Kirk, do you have a baby by this girl? Do I have a bed? Do I look like I got a baby by? Do you know her? Have you seen her before? Jock is the king of shade. Hold on, Tom. I ain't no king of nothing, Carly. Don't talk. be teaching him how to Man, be shady. I ain't no teaching nothing. I'm talking to my partner right now. Okay, all this whispering, it ain't working for me. I gotta look out for my girl, Rashida. This chick has put all my girl's business out on Front Street. Oh, don't be shy now, Kirk. Tell the truth. We don't even know what's going on. She says she's to see the child with you, and I'm just like, I want to dead all the bull out of respect. I feel like you should know, and yeah. I'm speechless. Kirk, this is not the time to laugh. This is my girl involved. Probably come on with all that. Let's go, let's go. You so aggressive for her all the time. I'm not aggressive. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's what it is. This is And I mean, Carla could be as mad as me as she want to, but you got to face the fact. I mean, this is the same cat that let me sleep on this couch two years ago. So you know I'm going to look out for Kirk. You don't know me? I might have seen you in Atlanta. Kirk, you don't know me. Do I? If that's your response, great. Because now I know where the f you stand. So you ain't never meet with me at my mother house before. Mm. What? I'm listening. Kirk, what? I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I, I feel mean, like his face says it all. I'm sitting I, mean, here I, like sitting I, I can't go off what nobody's face I mean, this say. is how I look. You know about Rashida? Of course. So you know I'm a married man, right? Of course. What would you be doing for me if you don't knew that? Don't try to flip the script right I'm now. I'm asking you a question. What would you be doing for me as a married man? I see you had some drinks, huh? Hey, look, man. This is a man that was at the hospital when our son was born. He's been giving me money to help support our child, but yet here he is in front of his friends acting as if he has no idea who I am. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I was gonna do the masquerade thing. I'm not here to be blamed for bro. I'm out of here, bro. Oh, I already knew you was gonna do that Yo, what, what, um. My name is Jasmine, and I'm the mother of Kirk Frost's four-month-old baby boy. I met Kirk while I was dancing in the club and while my boyfriend Rod was in jail. But Kirk knew that Cannon was his baby and he agreed to take care of him and help me out financially. But then I made the stupid mistake of going to that masquerade party and telling the wrong people that I have a baby with Kirk. Since then, I've been sitting at home avoiding the man that's been helping me take care of Kirk's child. But now I'm here to try to explain to my man Rod what happened, and hopefully he understands. Where you been? I just needed a little space. I needed a little time. Space. My name's Rod Bullock, and I'm in the business of making music. In fact, I was one of those people who saw something in Young Jock and invested in his career early on. Jasmine and I have been together off and on for about five years now. We fell off when I got sent to prison for money laundering. But I'm back now, and we're trying to make a go of things. What's going on? So, went to the masquerade party. Everything was all good. Me and Jock's talking at the bar. Carly walks up and assumes that I'm with Jock, I guess. So, Jock clears it up, tries to change his subject. Um, he congratulates me on having the baby, which leads to Carly asking how did I have a baby with somebody who was in the pen? And I just let her know that Kirk is the father of Cannon. Lo and behold, in walks Kirk. And so, wow. I mean, I confront him about it. So what does Kirk have to say? He's denying everything. He's acting as if he doesn't know me. I don't know what you expected from him but that. Jasmine and I have talked through all this, and we decided the best thing for now is to hold on to our secret. You know, Kirk has been sliding her some bread here and there and paying her bills, but you know I've been taking care of the baby, but I guess Jasmine couldn't hold on to it anymore. You made these choices. That's the man you chose to have a baby with. I don't mean to blame you, man, but I gotta blame you. I wasn't gone but eight, nine months at the most, and we come back to a whole new life. 
At first I was pissed about the Jasmine and Kirk situation. But then I got out of jail, the feelings were still there, so we decided to try to work things out. I'm genuinely sorry for all that I wish you hadn't said nothing in the first place and let it be. I don't want his father to get away scot-free. You stepped out of bounds. As long as you was playing ball, it was all good. The moment you stepped out of bounds, he turned his back. One thing he can't do is hide from the truth forever. Hey. So Jasmine called me out the blue because she wanted to talk at her apartment. I don't know why she invited me here, but I came here for one reason and one reason only. It's to see this baby. But she didn't need to know if there's a baby out here looking like the spinning image of her husband. I'ma be nice, nasty, just to find out what I need to know. I will say this, this is the same building that Kirk and Rashida used to live in. So you believe me now? Yes, okay. I will say that. I'll take that. Is everything okay? Cause I see boxes and... Um, I'm in the process of moving right now. My lease is up and I'm gonna have to pay money myself. So are you moving because he's not paying the rent anymore? Or? Right. I haven't heard from him since Jocelyn's party. He still hasn't checked on Cannon. Where is Cannon? He's out right now. He oh. should be returning any minute now. And well, you're sure 99.9999999 that this is Absolutely. Kurt's baby. I wouldn't be sitting here lying about something as serious as this. Yeah. Hey, hey. We back. Oh, is that Kenny? Yeah. I see my patience has paid off. A little boring chit chat was definitely worth the wait. See, I'm good, mama. I am finally about to lay eyes on this baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> he kind of looks like her. Okay? <laughs> but I, I, I can't okay? tell. Oh my God. So this is Kenny. Seeing him in the flesh, just take this to a whole nother level. Just got real. Come here. I would love to take a picture of him. What are your motives, Carly? I love holding babies. What are your motives, Carly? Nothing, I just like babies. I have no idea what she is up to. But if she's gonna show all these pictures to her friend Rashida, then shoot all the pictures you want, girl, and show Kirk's wife the family resemblance. Oh, hey, man. And he got a dimple, just like Kirk. Hey, what's up, y'all? What up? <laughs> what, homie? Really? Damn, I can't even get a little handshake from the homie. So I'll see what's going on. It's gonna be a hot little mess. So listen, I'm hearing in the streets that y'all running around with a whole lot to say. And I'm trying to figure out what that's about. Listen, hey guys. No, 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 it's no kumbaya tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> I'm killing all that. Carly and Jock have been inserting their messy selves into my business for a minute now. And at first, I was willing to play along in hopes that they would hear another side of the story and turn their friend Kirk around. But when I hear you're passing around pictures of my baby in a room full of strangers, and on top of that, Jock is lying on his Oh no, it's time to put a stop to this nonsense. First and foremost, I'm going to deal with Kurt and how I see fit. Already filed the paperwork and he will be served. He's not gonna be able to run no more and the truth is going to come out very soon. But Jasmine, right? I'm, I'm not a spokesperson for Kurt. Don't got nothing to do with me. So I'm gonna take it back two steps, just for you. I've been hearing shit has been coming from you. What I'm hearing is you got a lot to say about her. You running around with a bunch of goof talking about what you might have had done. Ooh, I'm lost. Wait, this is what I'm hearing wait, in the streets. I don't know what the f to think with your situation. Real Pause. talk. Have you ever said that you f me? Jasmine has hit Jock with a question that we all want to know the answer to. He smashed, he didn't smash, he wore a jimmy, he didn't wear a jimmy. It was a fuzzy night. Here's a moment of truth, because I can clear this up. I met a young lady named Jasmine. It was a foggy night. Drinks, sleep deprivation, all that. I had my situation with the young lady Jasmine. I'm not saying you the same Jasmine, but I'm keeping it 100. You look like the same Jasmine. I'm sitting here looking jock in his eye, and as I expected, he's backpedaling. He sounds like Kirk right now. What could he possibly gain from this lie? I'm super glad you cleared the air. I'm glad you got that sh on the table because I was feeling some type of way about telling you me and your baby mama real close. Me and Cena talk every day. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we real close. 
Yeah, I'ma take it there. I mean, I thought you was my dude. But you wanna run around talking about my girl? I'ma damn sure slip you something about your baby mama. Whatever you have had with Cena, yeah. if you she up, y'all do I don't give a because guess what? She's a grown woman, you're a grown man. Sweet. Okay. So now Rod trying to get up under my skin. I'm sure Rod is hot. I'm sure he 38 hot because I male smashed his girl. But to be throwing my baby mom into the mix just for the hell of it? Man, come on, dog. That's pathetic, bro. On some street yeah. this can get misconstrued. One thing I don't do, I don't let no mother like this turn into a problem for me and my homie. I got to be around for mine, dog. Then you shouldn't start yeah. that you can't Time release. out, Jazz. Yeah. Well, listen, mom, I don't want to address you. You disrespectful. This is me and Rod talking right now. Let us have this moment. Yo, girl needs to get rid of them pictures, bro. That's it. I, I want to make that clear. <laughs> them pictures that you got of that baby, you need to get rid of that. Matter of fact, erase that shit right you now, bitch. Who gonna make me do it? So, you? Uh, you hey, call me hey, to tell me to meet hey, with you. Please get your bitch on a leash. Why the fuck you going around with my son's picture? Like it's hee hee ha ha. Cause it is hee hee ha ha. Good job. I'll pop you in your mouth. Do it, bitch. I will pop you in your mouth. Do it! You ain't gonna do it! Stop showing my goddamn son's picture around yeah. me. Show me who the baby is. Stop up, bitch. I'll Let's do it. This mother all right, let's see. Why would it be a few hey, hey, Let's see. Right, let's see. Let's see. Dumbass hoe. Tell that motherfucking bitch I'm crazy. Well, she just been in and gone. Why would you want to talk to her now? I'm not sure how much either of you know. Kirk is taking the test, and my son is your brother. I wasn't aware of that, but OK. I haven't heard anything about a DNA test. And I don't trust this girl at all, so I don't even know if she's telling the truth. But if she is telling the truth, what make her think that Kelsey want to hear about her new brother from a woman who broke up the whole family? I just wanted to finally sit down and hash things out with her. Well, I don't know if that's a good idea. What do you want to come from it? I feel like that's going to hurt Sheeta more than anything. The damage is done. You should have thought about that before you done it. And I just don't understand what your reasonings were for doing what you did. You knew who both of them were when you did what you did. Absolutely. I know. When's the last time you talked to my dad? Me and your dad don't talk. We communicate through our attorneys. When you and Kurt were involved with each other, was he giving you false hope? Did I think that he was going to leave Rashida? No. So in other words, you were just out playing. I had just left a bad situation and... But the thing is, you knew as well as him that you could get pregnant. I mean... It had to run across nobody, your mind that it was a possibility was that you get could get pregnant. pregnant. I knew it was a possibility. It was more than just a possibility because you got pregnant. Right. I accept my part in the situation. But people have to understand, I didn't do this on my own. It takes two people to make a baby. And I wasn't the one stepping out on my marital vows. I'm just trying to right my wrongs, if possible. Let me say that, if possible, maybe it's not possible, I don't know. At least I can say that I tried to do that for the sake of my son. So if you guys can relay the message to her, I would really like to talk to her. Well, maybe, maybe not. Kirk asked me to meet him at his attorney's office because we only speak through our lawyers. And I'm guessing it's because he has an issue with me going to press. But I have some questions of my own for Kirk, and I plan to get some answers today. It's been a little minute. How long has it been? Like, over a year since I last seen you? Yeah. Cannon's about to be two. Why you feel like you haven't seen him yet? All the last year, it was like a war zone against me. Mm -hmm. And people were speaking out. So. No, I get all that. But from the time that you found out that Cannon is your son. That's like, why I put the child support in place to make sure financially you guys can live the way you need to live. But do you feel like that's enough? Like, you don't feel like you need to be playing I mean, a role? First of, cause, well, one thing about me, I'm definitely going to play a role. I just don't want to have outside issues. Like, I'm not going to be arguing with dudes and girls about, I'm just not going to do that. I'm well, going to wait for it. For the record, I'm no longer with Kiana or Rod. There was a lot of jealousy in that relationship. It was time for me to move on and make sure that Cannon grows up in a healthy and happy environment. 
one that hopefully includes his dad and, in time, his siblings, too. Do his brothers and sisters know that he oh. is their brother? Of course they know. How do they feel about it? Well, you know how Kelsey feel, right? I know how Kelsey oh, feels. Oh, OK. You know, it's an awkward situation. But at the same time, of course, they want to meet their brother. I'm just trying to out. get to the point where that can happen. Keep in mind, you can't do certain things. Pop up at press is a hurtful thing for her. It's an embarrassing thing. I mean, the last thing I wanted to do was make anybody feel some type of way. I think that I more so just wanted to finally get a chance to talk to her in person. You know, I feel like she deserves an apology in person. I think timing is everything. I don't think rushing it makes it any better. You just need to let me kind of facilitate that. But I got a lot of repairing to do inside my household still. I thought I'd be angrier when I seen Jasmine, but it seems like she's coming from a good place and only looking out for Cannon's interests, and I can respect that. It's been a while since I seen Cannon, but I can't deny he's my son too. And regardless how he came about, he does deserve the best possible life. So Cannon, he's good. Yeah, he's getting big. Pictures, videos, you have. Yeah, I got a video. You want to see one? Yeah, it would be cool. Handsome guy. He has gotten big. Isn't he so handsome? Yeah. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. It's been weeks since I sat down with Kirk and asked him to step up and be a part of our son's life. But absolutely nothing has changed. And I see him posting pictures and videos with all his other kids like he's just daddy of the year. I just need a drink and a friend right now. Oh, hey. How are you? I'm a fan in this Atlanta club scene. I don't dance, but I've been a bottle girl for years. And I know all the cute little strippers, including Jasmine. Do we need doubles or? Uh, we can start with a shot. Okay. That's good. A lot of people might judge her for sleeping with Kurt, but you know what? I still like her. And honestly, she ain't the first woman that slipped and land on some Mary. Where well, you been on vacation? I quit dancing, girl, which is probably why we haven't seen each other. I love that club money. I just can't <laughs> let it go. I can't I let it go. go. But if that's the source of your happiness, you look amazing. Because I know you had all that drama at first. The drama still, still continues. Oh. He still hasn't made himself present in Cannon's life. I don't have his number at all. You got a baby and I can't have your phone number? I had it when you was humping me. Let's take this shot, honey, because I'm about to tell you what I would do when you and me a shot, shot, just in case you take my after. advice. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. I'm not surprised Kirk the daddy, you know? Jasmine told me he been do about the baby, he was dead when the baby was born, and he even named the baby. He only flipped the script when his wife found out. You know, typical cheater. So this is what I do. Cannon would be on his porch with Carter, first of all. Because this is not Cannon's fault. That is Kurt Baby, and I think you need to be vocal about it now. So listen to this, T. I went up to press because I did want to have a conversation with Rashida. Rashida's mom was there. Chelsea, which is Kurt's daughter, was there. Her mom was drilling me. So who are you, you or why you here? No, on some, I know exactly who you are why you here. <laughs> but when is someone going to hold it against Kurt? Don't just blame me for this. Like, I don't have a vagina and a dingling. Exactly. Sis, you got you to gotta speak up. At this point, Cannon is suffering. I'm a strong believer that every boy needs his father. I've seen how King is affected by Scrap's absence. And I really feel like Jasmine should step up and force Kirk to see their child by any means necessary. Hi, guys. So, everybody, this is Jasmine. That's Rashida's dress? Yeah. OK. Hi, Josh. Hey, Jazz, well, how you doing? Me and Tierra are cool, I ain't gonna lie. I invited her, but I didn't know Tierra was gonna bring Jazz. Why Jazz, we gotta use my party to pop up? Damn, I'm feeling like this is deja vu. You don't know me? Do I? Bro, I'm out of here, bro. And, uh, I already knew you was gonna do that Yo, what up, what up? Um, who else coming in here next? Is KD finna walk in this mother man? Everybody sees Nobody wants to talk about it. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm not going to play that. 
So I'm not gonna stand here and act like it's okay. I don't think it's okay. I came here to talk to Rashida woman to woman so that my son's father can finally step up and be a part of his life. But she's nowhere to be found. And as usual, her friends wanna attack me. I don't think either one of us knew that Kirk was gonna be here. Kirk and Jock are friends, so obviously you know Kirk is gonna be here and what if Rashida is here? we did it though. You just need to stop popping up, like. Do you know me? No, I don't know you. And I don't wanna know. Get out of I don't have nothing to say to Jasmine. I've been sending my child support checks, so I don't know why she felt the need to pop up here. And I'm not sticking around to find out. I just got back in the house. I'm not trying to do anything to mess that up. Tia, bringing Jasmine into the fold right now, everybody feels some type of way. But why would you have a problem with me, but you don't have a problem with him? I'm just ready to go. Kirk was like, who's dating? Raw. He out here ducking raw, too. Got the fuck out of it. Ain't nobody see him. But I don't blame Kirk, though. He felt the heat. I felt the heat. Nobody wanted none of that spice that was going on. I'm sorry. I did not mean to mess up your grand opening. I apologize. Thank you for the invite. I just wanted to be cool. I promise you. All right. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, have, have a good night. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Nobody gives a yeah. little skinny bitch. I know that ain't who I think it is. Here, don't play with me. I'm gonna find you after, okay? At a party, I ain't know about. Why are you here? Um, I kind of felt the need to talk to Rashida real quick. If we could chop it up. First, I'm confused on why Jasmine's here. Then I'm confused on her walking in with Tierra. Like, what the f is that about? But like, what's the point? What do you want? Why are you here? You haven't took it upon yourself to do what you were supposed to do as a father to our son. You know what? You can go sit down. You can go sit down. I really don't have to say to this chick, but since she just keeps popping up, I guess I might as well deal with this once and for all. But she better remember, we in a room full of my peoples that will ride for me if necessary. I don't even need no help, though. I got this. What is it? What do you want to talk about? I just wanted the chance to finally get to apologize to you formally. I've tried to write you. I've tried to, you know, reach out to you. And I know I'm the last person that you want to talk to on the earth right now. Honestly. Obviously. I didn't want it to go down like this. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking about what I was destroying. I'm not that type of person. Really? <laughs> I really, I'm really not. Because on some real you did that Like that is the type of person you are. And I'm gonna keep that 100 with you. That was some real bull You know how you with my family. And at the end of the day, there's really nothing you can say to me to make anything any different. One thing about me though is I'm a real ass woman. And your child, has nothing to do with the situation at hand, but the way you maneuvered was on some that I can't with. And that's why I won't talk to you. That's why I hadn't talked to you. I'd be the first to say, like, I wish I would've never did that. That's not who I am. I up. Well, you don't have to try to tell me what you aren't because all I see is what you've shown me. I get it. That's real. I get it. So you came to apologize. Is that what you had to say? Shh, shut up so I can hear. I guess actions speak louder than words. All I can do is act on my words. I mean, and that's doing what though? Like, I'm I'm confused. I mean, this is a far ass place. We not in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So actions speak louder than words than what? Because when I talk to my mom and I talk to my stepdaughter, cause you coming in my place of business. On some real, well, like don't the, nobody, the, what? The reason why I did that in the first place is because I wanted to be able to speak to you. So then I'm, I'm confused on what it is you're, you're, you're wanting. You want to apologize and then what? Because anything else after that has nothing to do with me. You need to be having whatever conversation you need to have with that man. Because at the end of the day, on some real you a f***ed up individual for doing what you did. I'm not even talking about this whole around shit, but what I can't get past is all the other shit. You know, all these games with these blogs and this bull that you was doing. You posted my child on Instagram. Mm -hmm. 
Like that type of right there, that is a no-go. Mm -hmm. Your malicious ass ways, like I can't respect that on any kind of level. And I'm trying to have my moment. Today is an amazing day for me. I've been through a lot and I want to continue to enjoy my night. See you later. Hey, Jess. Hey, Jess. We're having a little conversation here. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Kirk's dumbass thought that my mom and grandmother was going to have a conversation with him without telling me that he was coming over. So I thought that it would be more productive if I just swung by and cut out the middleman so we could get to the bottom of things. So we've been talking about Cannon's well-being, just chopping it up about how he's taken care of. Mm -hmm. Kurt had a little concern because he thinks you party a lot. What gives you that impression that I party well, a lot? Well, I don't like when I get a text or get a call saying from Kelsey, like, hey, um, you need to get Cannon right quick. I need to fly to LA because I'm going to a party. My that thing. happened one time, once. You right. haven't been right. there for right. any holidays. Right. You haven't been there for okay. any birthdays. You want to post family first on Thanksgiving. Holiday. I just don't like it when I feel like I'm working, busting my ass, and you hit me with, I need to go party, so you need You're to watch You're not even it. around enough for me to, for you to tell me that I party too much. But Kurt just recently got involved with his son, and he wants to call me out on my parenting? He needs to become a father before he can even think about commenting on me as a mother. I just want you to have more of a relationship with him. I spent a lot of money on Cannon. Like, why First of all, money doesn't it? make you a father. OK, so here's another issue. I feel like, why is he still wearing a pull-up? Because he's two years old. I, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's a boy. But here's and my then, point. Well, let me we, ask you we, this. Where are all these concerns coming from? They're coming from me spending more time with him now and him spending the night. You know, I get push even at home to make sure you're doing your job as a father, so. That's it? You don't got nobody in your ear? It's like, is I somebody, mean, is else? Rashida asking me, what is he doing? Yeah, she may ask, Dad, why is he still wearing pull-ups? You need to get on it. She even saying to me, you need to make sure you. It sounds to me like you taking baby steps because of mm. Rashida. Not, that's when not. When it comes to no, Let me say, no, that's not true. If Rashida has these many concerns, why not have a conversation with me about it? Especially when Kirk is sending his daughter, Kelsey, to be the middleman on how we deal with Cannon. Something needs to be worked out I mean, because me. he needs to really visit more often. I will do my best. I and agree. let's work on being in contact. You need to have a direct number, you and her, to get in contact with each other. Why it can't be something direct? Work on that. I'll work Seriously. on that. It's gonna go. I called this meeting today to talk about Cannon and his defect situation with Jasmine. I'm definitely glad Rashida decided to join, but I'm worried on how it's gonna go. We've had our issues with Jasmine in the past. I know I'm the last person that you want to talk to on this earth right now. That was some real bull. You know how you with my family. There's really nothing you can say to me. See you later. So how are you feeling about it? I just don't want it to be an argument because that's not what it should be. Mm -hmm. Ken has been a part of our family for seven years now. At this point, we should not be having these issues, but we do. I will say, my friends are right. I do need to be a part of this whole conversation. What I'm really hoping is that we can all get on a good page for Cannon's sake and let all the bull go out the window. Well, you should have been here by now. Kirk invited me to meet him. It's bull At this point, just pay what you're supposed to pay and be on your merry way. I'm very shocked to see Rashida here because the last time I seen her, she told me that she would not be an Instagram parent. The bitch lied. Hello, Rashida. Hey. I haven't seen you Hello. in years. I have not. Good to see you. You as well. This is an awkward one for me. No husband really wants to call this type of meeting because it's incredibly awkward to kind of be in this position. I be kind of wanting to figure out a 
communication like it's like oh it's a lot of stuff but it's the same stuff as before do you realize you didn't even attend Cannon's last birthday because where were you at that's the same party that that I helped pay for and pay for the gifts correct when we was in mediation do you even remember what we agreed on yeah, you don't know because it, you don't I do know, I'm not. So the agreement was that you get Canon the third weekend of every month. Do you do that? No, and we didn't really agree to that because the last it's time... It's signed on well, here's paper. What I, this is what I, I, I just want to say. It's not going to ever be exactly what you want it to be. But I one get thing that we ain't going to never, ever, ever have to question or worry about is that boy getting the love and the same treatment as all the other kids when he's around. But I feel like y'all owe it to <laughs> Cannon for it not to be a nitpick. I'm, I feel like I'm just glad to walk down the street sometime because, you know, I was labeled as America's most <laughs> up person at one time. Women hate me for what happened with her, but then you have a child involved who needs all of that love. You're not a victim. No, it's not about a victim. This is what I get. It's my fault. Yes, I messed up. But one thing we're not going to label me as a bad father. I take care of my kids and my grandkids. One of the elephants in the room, for real, is like, what is going on now with the, like, defect situation? A defects call, that's a problem. That can get you in trouble. There's no excuses as a parent. The case got dismissed. You know. What I have a problem with is that this is our first time meeting, and maybe it's because of this defect situation. But why are you so concerned now? I've always been concerned, and I've always loved I've him never since the seen first day I heard too. from you. You don't have to hear from me because Cannon knows what's up. That's so all now that matters. You understand why it's a little weird now? It's, well, it, it seems, but like you it's know, not it's not weird. Genuine because no, it's genuine. Now all of a sudden, I've always been there since I decided to forgive this. <laughs> if I forgave him. I gotta take everything that comes with it, and that's canon. Y'all figure some shit out so we can get this boy on track like he need to be on track. It's been too long to be playing these kind of games, guys. Call me, babe, when you do. You got something else to say? No, I'm just like, well, I mean, I told you, you can call me anytime. When you need me, call me. Now that you say that, I'm gonna take your word for it. We'll see. So if I pick him up from your house and I come to your door, you're gonna be fully dressed? Or are you going to be how you normally be? How do I normally be? You came to the door a few times in your birthday suit. You don't are think you that's kidding happened? me? So that's never happened? Oh, you making it up now. I don't know what you trying to do, what you trying to pull. But it's OK, because listen, I don't erase no message. And I'm not saying it like I've never. I don't it. erase nothing. Take this mic off of me. Listen, Kirk is absolutely insane. I have so many messages from Kirk. We can either co-parent like I would like to do in the future, or we can go to war. That got me up. Hey, my There has never been a mother at How are you? Hey, Jay, right, how are you? Hey, hey this is my mom. Hey, hi, hey, mom. Hey. Amy. Amy. Erica. Amy. I'm so confused <laughs> right now. <laughs> Child, if this ain't some messy I thought this was an event honoring mothers. And when I think honor, I, I don't think or see Jasmine. So why is she here? I'm just trying to understand <laughs> when this connection happened. Why did you decide to invite Jasmine and her mother, but not Rashida and her mom? The reason why Rashida and Miss Shirlene Perlene hasn't been invited, because I have simply ran out of hay. I have no more room to even put a bird in it. But you know what I just built? It's a fucking nest for you that the goddamn sit on. Oh, no, you need to sit your ass on it. Mm-hmm. Like so that. listen, I've been keeping my ear to the street. Oh, I'm nosy. What the street And you know, you? I own it. That's year, Bambi and my son got a divorce. A lot of people like Kirk and Rashida, they bought the lie. So I know how one-sided they can be. So tell me, Jasmine, what's going on? Listen, I just don't like my business out there. If it doesn't have to be, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But I will say this, though. So Kirk tried to put me out there, lie, like he tried to lie on me. Honestly, I am a little shocked at how quick it took Mama D to dive right into my business. However, I ain't come here for nothing, so let's get into it. I appreciate that somebody in this circle is willing to listen and not just take the frost eye. 
So Kirk, he tried to lie on me. He said that I'd be answering the door in my birthday suit when he comes to pick Cannon up, which is a lie. Mm -hmm. And and immediately when he said it, I was thinking like, I'm only saying that because you're trying to cover up mm -hmm. your track. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. I say the truth, you want to have something that you can say in return. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Has yeah, he flirted he's... with you or anything since? The, the, you had Wait till you hear this. He's never trying to f on me. What? Have sex with you? Yeah. Last year, Rashid and Kirk had enough time to get in me and my son's business. You need to be watching Kirk. So that's what you need to be concentrating on, keeping your man inside his pants, OK? So you saying you'll give it to me if I you, basically. Damn. But you can't afford it she any holding, other time. holding money and or anything, get a toxic. Baby, oh, how are you? Hi, baby. Oh, good to see you. Hi, who was this? This is my friend, Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, this is Mama Jan. Yes. This is a beautiful event. Thank you. I invited my friend Erica Racine, just in case a bitch want to act up. I don't want my mama fighting nobody. What you know, girl? As far as Jasmine is concerned, she's not the bad guy. Mm. I don't understand why these men just can't grow up. It was an old cliche about me, y'all. Don't tell a telegram, and don't tell Mama D. Cause Mama D gon' goddamn get it, baby. All these women that believed in the lie, but for me, if you want to search for the truth, it's right there in your home. Hey, Mama. Hey, come on. Come on you so messy. Mm-hmm. You so messy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were messy. I should have known better because this is Mama D we're talking about, and she always has some bull up her sleeve. But best believe, Jasmine clearly came here to start a whole bunch of bull crap. I mean, it follows her wherever she goes. Just gonna call you Messy D. No. You know who that is, right? Yeah, so I invited her tonight to ask her what's going on with y'all. She said that he'll hold some hostage. Like, I'll give you this if you sleep with me. And they be arguing. Oh, he's giving her proposition. Yes. Oh, oh, Lord, what is you doing right now? So she said, Kirk, you know, is like at her about sleeping with her. Yeah. This is a lot. Yeah. I definitely want to holler at her. Regardless of what is going on between Jasmine and Kirk, I feel like it's a time and a place for everything, and this is not the time nor the place. I wholeheartedly think that Jasmine is jealous of Rashida, and she's going to continue to be a problem throughout their marriage. Now what? Hey, ladies. So what's tea? I don't have any tea for you, babe. You do. You had tea for Mama D. You're not Mama D. I know, but what you told Mama D? Ask Mama D what I told Mama D. So you don't want to spill the tea? I don't know you enough. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. I already told Mama D what she does with that information is what she does with that information. I don't need to report back to Erica or anybody else about my business. You had a reason why you came over here? Why you worried about what I'm doing? Why you worried about what I'm doing? She walked over to her She walked over to her Mom, mom, mom. Mom, sit down. Stop, stop, mom. That's side chick territory. Sit down. weird. This is what happens every single time. The woman is the one that is blamed while they're friends with the man who also was involved. You ain't ready. It's not worth it. Not it's not worth it. What's she not ready for? You recognize? I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready. What's the disagreement, baby? I can ask her. No, it, no, it ain't worth no, it. The whole thing. What's the disagreement? Erica Dixon is 100% in the right for defending her friend and her absence against the side chick that almost ruined the marriage. And I want friends like that. But we're here to celebrate the moms, and not the moms ready to box each other. No side chicks allowed! Shut the f up! No side chicks allowed! No side chicks allowed! No side chicks, no one of these! What do you mean? What's up?
What do you mean what I mean? How the f you get around Mama D? What the f y'all mean that? That's at? none of your business. And you know her reputation with young I women, and she was known to be a madam, care. okay? So I don't I'm, a, I'm just I asking don't what's care. the relationship. After me talking to Rashida, I'm like, yo, me and Jasmine got to meet up to shut this down at the source. I don't want Cannon to sit back and got to see me saying all kind of up to his mom, but I'm really pissed off that you plan with my marriage. I'm starting to feel like we doing the remix to Mama D's Thirsty Ass Holes. Like, what the going on? All you okay. need to worry about is being a father. You don't being need to worry father. about my relationships with anybody father. else. I've been you a father. Not. I'm not here to make you happy. It's I don't about want you to make me happy. I want you to make Cannon happy. I've never dropped the you ball do one everything, time. everything, maybe 20 days out a year. OK. What's Cannon's teacher's name? I wouldn't know. What's his school's name? You want me to put it? You want me just to say a school name? I take him all the time. How about I show you it to you? You take him all the time. You it took starts with a W. Times. What the wrong with you? What grade is he in? Really? Really? Exactly, Third. stupid. Stupid, no. Third. He's not in third, third. Daddy. But guess how what? How old is he? So you think I don't know how old is Cannon? You got to answer a question with a really? question. That's crazy. Kirk sees Cannon maybe once every three months. I live 15 minutes from this man. If you were there, you would have known these things. Why would you tell Mama D? I'm trying to bang you for more money. That's bad. So you ain't never offered me no man. money? You want to oh, play? Wow. Yeah, let's play. No, nah, I don't want to play. Have you tried to smash me or not? No. No. You know, I'm the fool. I'm the one who bit the cheese in the mouse trap years ago, and guess what? I'm still paying for it. But you ain't got to worry about me ever biting that again. I've got a pass with my wife, and we've gotten to this point. There ain't no reason to that up like you a dumbass mother if you do and i refuse to be that you just a but... straight up liar bro if you lie one time you're gonna lie again and no I'm you're the liar you're the that. one who knew a was married and you had a baby because with a married sure man and you expected a married liar. wife and it's not gonna happen and i'm sure you cannot she's gonna turn it into what you want it to be you cannot I've do that you gotta understand you ain't done All your part my Tell life the up. Truth. You, can, you can say what you want. You my life up. You done your part. I you my life, life up. up. You fuck my me. image. Up everything. You shouldn't. Have guess what? Me. Guess what? No, hell. Condom and out. Drunk. Get the fuck out of here. Cut my own. Never play with me. We it is what no it is. Condom. Really? 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 How do Whatever. people get pregnant? Guess what? Not I, ever the fuck it happened? He's. What are here. the chances that you get pregnant without a? Matter. I don't even enter the clown show. Let's keep that clear. Okay. You got me in court. Everybody As I, I should. I was a disgrace to my kids, telling them As not to do shit that I did. I got mother women looking at me like, how the did you do As that to your wife? Which they should, and I'm wrong. And then I got to argue with you for nothing because I take care of my it's child, and you want more. You don't then you tell people what I'm trying to you. And I say, hey, I'm a who coming to your door, you be naked. I'm fine. I'm not naked. So you pull up with your whole titty out, but you in the You'll house. You be trying to rub on this more. titty. Whatever. Here he goes again, trying to blame me for his own actions. At the end of the day, you're the adulterer. I'm not married. He makes passes at me and tries to flip it like I'm the bad guy. Like it's some toxic masculinity. Kurt, you're a gaslighter, and you can go straight to hell. This is I'm true. bored. You bored. You're a liar, and the truth ain't in here. Oh, I'm a liar. I offered you money, and you turned it down. I'm going to be respectful because you're Cannon's mom. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm ready to get everything good with Cannon. I don't want to argue with you. I, I see that's, you know, your thing. You should have never argued with day. me in the first place. It's not even about arguing, dude. Whatever you're going to do is going to let amigo. it happen. Yeah. You look crazy. I'm glad to look crazy. But you look crazier. Karma's a big. What we chasing to? No bull. No bull. To a new friendship. And no more lies. How about that? No more. No more lies. Come on. I hate a liar. I hate a lie too. I love that Erica asked me out for drinks because after Diamond's bachelorette party, it's good to know that somebody has my back in all this cross drama.
I'm so happy you're not part of the Frost cult. I feel Girl. like it's a cult at this point. <laughs> Why is bitches trying to talk to me? Because, you know, I know Yandy, so I'm like, Yandy don't normally be yelling. I'm like, what's going on? Is there something going on at home? Mendeecees be at my bar every now and then by himself. So, ma'am, you need to you figure out what's way. going on with that. Come he on, might be with on. a couple. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Yandy was wrong as for how she was coming at me. And she only knows half the story. Yandy for sure needs to be more focused on why her husband is coming to my strip club without his wedding ring, trying to fun bitches. Everybody knows that ain't nothing open late at night but Waffle House and Legs. I just hate that you get all of this hate and negative energy, and Kurt doesn't really get that. You know what I'm saying? That still cheated on his wife. Maybe because they feel like, oh, it was years ago. Oh. Well, if you feel like it's or... years ago, well, do that for me too, bitch. Like, well, it was years right, ago. Right. And back then, it wasn't just a hookup either. He told me that he saw a future with me. This is the conversation when I first found out I was pregnant. So this is him. I'm, I'm the green, obviously. You said, I have no urge to tell people this early in the game, but when and if it's time to, I will be hated and judged. Oh my God, Jasmine. Yeah. It made me a little emotional a little bit. Kirk said, let's just talk about it and see what it takes for you to be comfortable and we can make it happen. You're not gonna be hated either. Don't worry about that bullshit. There's always a way to make things work. You would be more popular. Last thing he said is, I see a future with you. Okay, he's sick as I'll give you that. All these years, I was always seen as the homewrecker. It's still hurtful. And now that he's the only one trying to me, he's trying to paint me as the villain? That's not happening. So if that's how he wants to play, then let's take it back to the beginning when he encouraged me to keep canon because Kirk Frost told me that he saw a future with me, not Rashida, with me. And he's still to this day lying about, girl, I linked with him. We were talking because word got out that he's still trying to do me. And he denied, denied, denied. And why wouldn't he? I do feel like y'all yeah, needs to get some sort of understanding if he's, you know, trying to go out of bounds. I feel like that needs to be nipped in the blip. You and Rashida need to have some sort of conversation. It's been seven plus years, and this is still an ongoing thing on his end. You can address it with him all day. He ain't gonna do but act like he don't know what you're talking about. I don't owe Rashida a damn thing. I tried to talk to her years ago, tried to talk to her a few weeks ago. We see how that happened. Like, at this point, I don't owe her so why do I need to talk to somebody that doesn't give a about me or my truth? Like, bye. I saw online that Kirk is having some kind of car event coming up. I'm pretty sure she did gonna be there, so maybe you should pull her to the side, not him. Let's have a quick love conversation. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, I'll cool. go. Even I'll if go. you go, just go, cause I'm going. Come on, we gonna click today. That's I'm, a good I'm way to see put you it. at the car show, cause you gonna come right here. I said I might. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna walk up. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go with the book. I can't believe this. What the is going on right now? How the will she just pull up at your event like it's nothing? I don't even yeah, your event. Know. I can't believe it. Like, you just pull up and you're here. Like, what book are you on now? Like, what the is this? Of course, I don't want to hear, but if I say something to her, it's going to cause a bigger scene. So I'm going to ignore her ass and keep it moving. You're here. I'm here. Who invited her? I know her and I argued at Diamond's bachelor party the other day, but she came up to me and be nice to me, so I'm gonna be nice too. Are you good? I'm good. But you know me, I'm cautious with her to get the tea. Are you gonna go over there and talk to Rashida? Because our conversation needs to be had. I don't have nothing to say to that lady. I don't. She don't technically owe her She didn't take a bow. You came to the party, so if you come to the party. Who comes to a party and says like that. Yeah, no, that but, it, but why come at all? I'm here tonight because I was invited. The easiest way to get rid of me is to tell the truth. I wasn't even going to do this. I swear to God, I wasn't going to out him nothing. I'm doing this because he tried to say that I come to the door in my birthday suit. And that is never the case. But since you want to go there, let's go there. You want to make me look crazy by your lies, I'm going to make you look crazy by my truth. So that's all it is for me. Like, you took it there and now let's go there. Well, yeah. you're here, so are you gonna address the situation or not? I don't feel like I owe her that. It's not my job. Well, then I'm gonna go talk to Rashida and show her the receipts. Let me see your phone again. 
You want to see my yes, phone again? Yes, yes, yes. One more time. Oh, the same message as the other day. Yeah. This is the text message between me and Kirk. Mm -hmm. He said, so and so amount if we This is not a one-time thing. I'm telling y'all, this tried to me on several occasions. He's been proven time and time again to lie about When have I ever been proven wrong? You don't have a reason to lie. I don't have a reason to lie. We in the playground. Let's play. Let's go. I feel like it's Jasmine's place to tell Rashida. But if Jasmine's not going to go over there, I'm going to do it. I feel like this is deja vu all over again, because I'm the one who broke the news to Rashida that Jasmine was pregnant in the first place. Jasmine just pulled up. She has some receipts that Kirk is trying to get with her, and yeah. Uh, what, what does she have? I screenshotted it. Can I see it? Because uh, this is sure, weird. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, I, I don't see it. I mean, what's the, what's the tea in this? Now, one thing about me, y'all, y'all know I don't do the public scene. I don't like people trying to come in and play around with peace. Like, you want to send my over to send to do this? Like, we grown as And we got to play around like this. If you woman enough to want to talk about it, be woman enough to bring it to my ass. So right now, I'm not with it. I'm not buying it, and I don't want to hear it. Oh, it says, oh. Say it. She says something about agree, and it blanks out. And then you just see, we we need full disclosure. But why is this part blocked out? Yeah, if she have full proof, out. why is this blocked out and why are these marked out? Yeah, That's not a receipt. I'm sorry. We, we need yeah, to get a receipt. I mean, what, what's the, what's the sentence the before that? Yeah. I'm not about to look at that. I mean, where's, where's it your in phone? your phone? Yeah. yeah. Where's the last got in here with the kids and the, the uh, you know, we just were talking about it. My that go date said May 22nd. Okay, that? May 22nd? Yeah. I don't got out. My phone is, I don't, I don't really. Whatever. This ain't funny. Ah, yeah. I'm not afraid to burn it down. I have to clear the way, leave no survivors. Yep. We're going to meet up with little Miss Thotty, and we're going to find out what the deal is. You got something to say? Say it to my face. Sometimes life gives you rotten limbs. Mm -hmm. With that being said, here we are. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Frost. What's going on? What's up? Oh. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> So now Rashida wants to meet up with me all of a sudden. Why? Because at the end of the day, she's not going to leave that man. He could do a whole orgy in front of her, and she still won't leave him. Well, apparently, you know the stuff that's going on, because you're the one with all the bright old text messages and saying things I'm trying to do, got me arguing about what I'm not trying to do. Trying to definitely get some clarity on what's all going on. Jasmine is getting exactly what she wants. She wants to get in front of Rashida. She wants to try to up my marriage, say little slick You love star I mean, is stupid. Well, I mean, first and foremost, I feel like you tried to lie on me and say that I answered the door in my birthday suit. Well, whatever you said, whatever you said was completely false. So I was like, if you're gonna lie on me, then I'm gonna tell the truth on you. And I never wanted to take it here. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until you said that, that's what triggered me. I was like, okay, let's go there then. Rashida is mad at the wrong person. The reason why we haven't been able to have a conversation is because you've held me accountable and not him. So I'm confused. Like, what are you, what are you so confused about? Oh, OK, so she said telling the truth on you. So what, which, what's, what's the truth? I, I, what, what would be your truth? Because my truth is I don't know what the f you're talking about. Of course so you don't. whatever your truth would be, what is it? Like, of course you don't, because you, you why would you tell that truth? So the truth is that you have been trying to smash. So I heard, and that's been not the case, so. You're a liar. The truth ain't in you. I have the proof. 
She says she got the proof. Hopefully at the end of this conversation, she has a little bit more clarity and maybe one day she'll be able to realize that I'm not the problem. This is my first time actually reading the text and I just feel like this is beneath me. You said blank if we That's what that says. And now you going back on your word after I signed the release form for Cannon. I take you back to court. Don't play with me. You didn't ask me to cash up you no know, extra money towards the rent. I just did it out of the kindness of my heart because I knew you were behind trying to help you. That wasn't no extra money. That was what you're supposed to be giving me anyway since we agreed to whatever the number is. So what's the deal on the text messages? Is that what we got I going mean, on? Because the fact that I'm even sitting here, even listening to this is beneath me. And I'm sick and tired of this Straight up, what is up? What's up is I take care of my child, not to the ability that someone else would like, and try to walk on thin ice because I don't want to be getting cursed out about that I'm not doing. Like, what you want me to do? I don't want you to tap dance, mother do some ballerina steps around my question. I want my question answered. I ain't doing I, I ain't trying to do shit. You already know I'm not. Like, when, where, how, when? So where the rest what? of the text messages at so I can find out this information about what y'all agreed to? Why are your text messages deleted? You, I, you, what you mean? I don't even know what the was being said. I was frustrated. I might have thought about and I don't know if I sent the same day, the next day, I sent the money and did what I needed to do. That's it. I ain't do nothing else. Let me talk to you. Jasmine. Whatever. So what's the deal? Honestly, let me say this. Me and you haven't really had any type of communication like this ever before. I feel like maybe me and you need to open up a communication line instead of him, me and him. Maybe it will be better that way. You just told me my husband trying to f you, and then you telling me you want to open up a communication line with me? I mean... Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm done. I ain't him. Why would you not want to have an open line of communication with me if your husband's trying to me? I feel like that's even more reason for me to have communication with you. That way I don't have to deal with him. Kurt can be obsolete. <laughs> oh, hi, y'all. How you doing? You look good. Girl, nothing too much. You see what's, up? See what's going on? Y'all ain't bring nothing? We're gonna get some. Well, this is a little weird. Yeah, it's a little awkward. The pop-up is given stalker. I'm not jumping in Kirk and Jasmine's conversations. You know, this is Kirk's bed. You laying that me and her. We ain't got to talk about nothing right now. We need to have a candid conversation. OK. Um. Here we go. Rashida walked away the moment she saw me with her head down. Let's be honest, she can't even face me. But I'm not surprised to see that Kirk and Rashida made up. That woman will jump in the casket with him. <laughs> with all the that's going on, and I, I guess I'll take fault for starting the bull with you in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'll take the blame for saying the that you wasn't doing, OK? Mm -hmm. So Thank I you. apologize for that. Kirk lying and saying that I come to the door in my birthday suit is him trying to manipulate the situation like he always does. I feel like he wanted to try to paint me out to be this crazy person that I'm not. But it's not the first time, and hopefully it'll be the last. I want to work the out with Cannon. Like, I want to get his name changed. I want to get him legitimized. And I don't want to be doing all the back and forth saying it's not true. Like, I ain't, that is not good. All right, child, well, I'm going to go get ready for my performance. All right. Let me remove myself because this is not my situation, and it's a lot awkward right now. All right, I'll see y'all. Right. Yeah, so basically just trying to, number one, stop wasting my money on lawyers. So the amount of money that I sent you, that's the number you cool with, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put an agreement together and we'll agree on that and we can end this lawyer. Period. Okay, I'm so that's that. where I'm at. All right, well, there we have it. Ugh, sayonara. 
I'm definitely happy to do everything I could do for Cannon, but the least thing for me Jasmine could do is admit the text messages is a lie. You twisted them up. Jazz. I wanted to make sure what I said to you about coming to the door naked. You, I, I took mine back. Right? I said, I apologize. You didn't come to the door like that. Because that you saying I'm trying to drill is causing problems. So I was trying to clear that up. Like, that is for what reason? Because it really happened. No, no, you tripping. Kirk tries to approach me about backing down from the text messages. I'm not lying about anything else at this point. Like, it's time to tell the truth. You're full of and now the world gets to see. My work here is done. <laughs> what? You, you, whatever. Okay. Enjoy the day.